Hi students, this video is a part four of a series of educational videos that handle the sizing of uh, the pressure vessels based on the French calculation code CODAP. I'll try in this part four video to technologically explain how to size the different elements that constitute a nozzle. Of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, I start with the verification of the opening diameter. I have uh, my pressure vessel, and uh, this is my main hole. And I, uh, this main hole can be simply seen as uh, an opening plus a nozzle neck, plus a flange, plus a reinforcement plate. And in this video, I will handle the opening, the nozzle neck, and the flange. Well, for the opening, uh, the formula that you see now in the slide states that the diameter of the opening should not exceed a certain maximum allowable diameter equal to 16 times the square root of the mean diameter of the shell multiplied by the useful thickness of the shell. Based on the internal diameter and uh, the useful thickness of the shell, I can determine the mean diameter, which is equal here to 2003.95 millimeters. And I have uh, a manhole uh, opening diameter equal to 720 millimeters. So I can easily verify that the diameter of the manhole opening is lower than the maximum allowable diameter. So uh, the main hole opening diameter is verified. Now for the location of the nozzles, when uh, it is carried out on a shell, the main hole nozzle, and when uh, it is carried out on uh, a formed head, uh, I have my pressure vessel. This is the distance x minus x zero that should separate the manhole nozzle to the tangent line and uh, this uh, distance uh, should be higher than the maximum between 0 0.2 multiplied by the square root of the mean diameter multiplied by the useful thickness of the shell and three times the useful thickness of the shell and based on the internal diameter and the useful thickness of the shell we can uh, we can obtain easily uh, that the distance x minus x0 should be higher than 17.79 millimeters. Of course, here, the distance x minus x0 is the minimum distance that should separate the nearest point of the manhole nozzle to the tangent line. x0 is a distance related to the dimensions of the reinforcement plate, and I explained this in a previous educational videos. Now for the distance y that should compass uh, the whole nozzle carried out in the formed head. Uh, of course, with regard to the axis of the pressure vessel, this distance y should not exceed 0 0.4 multiplied by the external diameter of the shell, which is equal to the external skirt of the pressure vessel. And uh, based on the internal diameter and uh, the useful thickness of the shell, we can uh, easily uh, determine that uh, the, this distance y should not exceed um, 803.16 mm. Now for the thickness of the manhole uh, nozzle neck, which is highlighted here in red, this nozzle neck should have a thickness, a useful thickness, that should not exceed uh, a certain factor kt multiplied by the useful thickness of the shell in the neighborhood of the opening. And uh, the factor KT is obtained by this uh, chart, uh, which give uh, KT in function of uh, D by uh, capital DM. D here is the diameter of the opening, and uh, capital DM is the mean diameter of the shell. Based on the internal diameter and uh, the diameter of the opening, we can determine a D by uh, divided by capital G M, which is equal to 0 
so we determine kt as 1.6 and finally uh, we obtain uh, that we obtain uh, the fact that uh, the useful thickness of the nozzle should not exceed 6.32 millimeters now for the length of the manhole nozzle neck so i have my pressure vessel and uh, the nozzle neck here is highlighted in red i will examine uh, this uh, manhole nozzle so uh, as you can see i have a total nozzle length and the flange height and the neck length obviously the neck length will be uh, the total nozzle length minus the flange height for the total nozzle length uh, it's equal to 300 50 millimeters as it is stated by the data related to the operating conditions of the pressure vessel and here the flange height is determined based on the European standards 1092-1 and we have a weld neck flange DN which means nominal diameter 700 and PN which means nominal pressure equal to 63 so based on the European uh, standards 1092-1, uh, the weld neck flange uh, have uh, the characteristic dimensions uh, as it is depicted by uh, the picture that you see now in this slide. Now I should determine the height of the flange, which is H2. With this uh, this uh, height H2 will be determined based on this table which is ex uh, extracted from the European standards uh, 1092-1. Well, we have a nominal diameter equal to 700 millimeters, and the height of the flange H2 will be, in our case, equal to 160 millimeters. So HT is equal, as I explained, 160 millimeters, and uh, obviously the neck length will be the total nozzle length minus the flange height which give finally a neck length equal to 190 millimeters that's all for this educational video if you have any remarks or suggestions please mention it in the comments thank you very much for your attention